Hello guys, happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining me today on live. So I'm feeling so festive and the cold weather is coming. So last week we did snowman cupcake pull apart and I hope you guys tried it at home, it's super fun. So this week we're gonna do melted snowman bark. And this is a fun chocolate um, item, chocolate dessert you can do. You can do this with the family, kids love it. It's just also cute to have at a holiday party. So I'm gonna go over some of the things you need. There's a little bit of prep, and this is just really a fun project. On the tray I have some mini uh, baking pieces in red and green. Starburst, and I picked out the orange ones. What's fun about this is you can eat the red ones, the yellow and the pink. Uh, little candy eyes. If you don't have candy eyes, you can use mini chocolate chips for this. Some thin pretzel sticks. A little bit of white sanding sugar, and I tossed a tiny bit of blue in there to make it wintry. And six mini peanut butter cups. So that's what you wanna start out with in order to be ready to go. Because when you're working with melted chocolate, you have to prep, because your chocolate has to be soft while you're working with it, so you don't have a lot of time to be prepping once your chocolate's on the pan. I also melted some white chocolate. I'm keeping it warm right here. And that's what we're gonna use for the basis of our bark. So. Let's start by, I'll show you how to prep the um, Starburst. These are gonna be for the snowman's nose. So you're just gonna want to unwrap it. And we wanna cut these into triangles. So I like to just start by cutting it into threes. Just use a knife and watch your fingers. And if you're doing with this, this with your kids, you're gonna do this part for them. Get them prepped. And once you get it cut into threes, put them on their side, and now cut them diagonally across. And that's gonna give you the tiny carrot nose. Okay, so you see, you get the little triangle. You can use your fingers to shape it a little bit kind of little perfect little carrot noses going. You need 12 to do a bark, so you want to use two Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks, where'd that come from? <laughs> Maybe I need coffee. You want to use two Starburst squares. Oh, I should have got a coffee, see? Throw those into your little um, cup and get it ready. I like to make Russ laugh when that happens. <laughs> it's always a good day. Um, now we're gonna prep our peanut butter cups. Let's see if I can call these by the right name. All right, so unwrap those. You need six. You really need seven because you need one to pop in your mouth. I already did that before, so I'm not going to do it now. All right, and then we're going to cut these in half also. So these are a little easier to cut than the, than the Starburst. Just cut those right in half. Don't worry if they crack a little bit, that's okay. Okay, and we're gonna set these aside as well for our hats. All right, so now we're pretty much prepped. Um, what we wanna do is start with a tray with parchment on it. Remember, parchment will make your cleanup so much easier. Also keeps your chocolate from sticking to the pan. And I melted, this is about two pounds of white chocolate, and I didn't melt it completely. So if you look, it's kind of thick, and it's got chunks of chocolate in there. I did this on purpose to add to the melted snowman effect. If it was really smooth, then you would lose a little bit of that effect. So I'm gonna pour some of this down into the center of the pan. So. That's about right. That's about two pounds. And now I'm just gonna use my spatula to spread it a little bit. Keeping it a little bit bumpy. And I don't need to go all the way out to the edges of the pan. Just gonna kinda get myself a nice round like that. All right. Now, I am gonna give my pan a tiny bit of a tap. That's gonna get out some of the air bubbles. You see them popping up. 
take some of the air bubbles out of the chocolate. And also, it will smooth it out just a little bit, but it still leaves these ridges and these nice little areas where it will appear that the snowman melted. So now once it's on your tray, it's gonna start to harden quickly, especially if your room is cold. So you kind of want, it, this way you had to be prepped and you wanna work pretty quick. So when you lay down the pieces to make your melted snowman, you want them to go in different directions. Lots of different directions makes it really fun and whimsical. And it looks like they were all kind of standing on the field and then just whoop, melted. So I'm gonna start with the hat. And you use the peanut butter cup. This is the top of the hat, this is the bottom. And the cut side goes down into the chocolate. Give that a little push, but you're not gonna push all the way down to the bottom of the tray because you don't want it to go all the way through. You just want it to sit gently on top of the chocolate. Gonna add his eyes. In every one you wanna make a little difference. So you can put the eyes close together, you can spread them apart, you can make them googly, you can make them cross-eyed, that's up to you. Now one of our starburst noses, and you want that to kinda of stick up a little bit out of bark to give it a 3D look. You can see starting to come together. Next I take a pretzel stick, I just broke it in half, those are gonna be his arms. And those are gonna go right there. And then a couple of buttons. So I'm gonna use the little candy pieces. These are mini M&Ms. And give him his buttons. So that's the first little melted snowman. I wanna continue this in all different directions throughout the bark. So that when this is broken up, people are gonna get all these different candies in every bite. And it also looks like your snowman just kinda of melted. So I'm just gonna keep repeating. And I tried this a couple different ways. I tried just putting the hats all around where I wanted them and then going back and putting the other pieces together. But they can run into each other pretty easily that way. So I find it's easier to do it one by one. And I like to, if I did green, red, green, then I'll go red, green, red. And do it however you like. Just telling you a little bit of my neurosis. I like it that way. I mean, who doesn't love a snowman? <laughs> what did I do? Was, it, was that a joke? I thought so. <laughs> I like to think I'm fairly sane. <laughs> All right, so there goes that. And if my kids are watching, you don't need to write some snide comment. We get it. So I hope everybody's been getting out there and getting their shopping done. What always happens is everybody forgets about dessert when they're busy, busy shopping for all their Christmas gifts. So don't forget us. Get your orders in for your Christmas desserts. We also have some great uh, holiday chocolate centerpieces um, that we're working on here. They make a great uh, focal point for your dessert table and then also double as dessert, so that's great. And they're also a great hostess gift. So, I'm gonna, whoop, we lost an m, &M. I need a grain, see, gotta keep it even. Take that one out. All right, I'm gonna put one over here, going this way. Let's make his eyes kinda off to the side, like they just sorta melted that way. And his nose going the other direction. This guy really had a mishap. That's what's cute about it, and that's what makes it fun. And if you're working with a group on this, people can add their own touches so that when it's done, they can identify their snowman because he has his own little unique personality. I'm going to go the opposite way on this one. All right, so you get the point here. And you want to get 12 on there because you want to fill this bark up so that, of course, we sometimes forget when we make these cute things that we're going to eat them. So you want it to have plenty of topping on it so that it tastes really great when people go to eat it and enjoy it. I don't know what's your favorite part about the holidays, but I definitely like all the yummy sweets and treats that are around. And it feels like it's okay to indulge a little bit, right, when it's the holidays. Yeah, a little extra of this, maybe 
maybe just one more cookie. I'm gonna start my diet next month. You guys know how that goes. I'll see you all at the gym on January 2nd. All right. Who's loving this? Russ, are you loving this? Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. You're just loving it because you're going to eat it in a few minutes. Ain't that the truth? All right. Let's get some eyes on this guy. And we're just about ready to finish him off. I'm going to going to show you what it looks like done. What happened to the music? I don't know. You can sing. You can sing. <laughs> no, my talent lies elsewhere. <laughs> All right. Okay, so once you get them all on there, this is where you'll take your, your sugar. I add a little blue in there so it makes it a little more wintry and just kind of fill in around them. This will give it a little sparkle. It fills in the blank spaces. It's really cute. And then all you need to do is pop it in your fridge. About 15 minutes, it'll set up and then it's ready to serve. I'll show you what it looks like done. Get one in the fridge here. And when it comes out, use your parchment. It's the greatest thing ever. You can lift it right up. So check this out. It's not too thick. Nice thin piece of chocolate. So it's yummy and delicious, not hard to eat. Got all your little melted snowmen in there. I would serve it on a big flat, a round platter just like this. And then when it's time to eat it, you just, people break it up and you serve it. You can use um, little mallets. If you get like little wooden mallets, you can use that and have your guests break it up. It's kind of fun. That's all it takes. Just, if it's cold, it'll break up really easily. And these make adorable little um, desserts and also really yummy. This is great for a class too if you want to bring something into class. So this is our melted snowman uh, bark. You can make all kinds of bark at home. Bark is a super simple easy way to accomplish dessert in under 15 minutes. So keep it in mind you can add anything to it but this one is really fun and festive for the holidays. Thank you so much for joining me today on live. Uh, this Saturday is Sweet Tooth Saturday at Chocolate Carousel from four to six, all you can eat, cake, filling, and frosting. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. You can bring your favorite beverage, hang out, and just enjoy some cake and some time with friends. Take a break from the mall and come see us at Chocolate Carousel. Uh, cake challenge is at the end of the month. We're working hard on all of our Christmas and Hanukkah um, candies and cakes and pies, so definitely stop in, check out our website, or give us a call. We'll help hook you up for the holidays. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you guys next week on live on Wednesday at 12. Have a great week.